Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads uh, if uh, we have uh, two problems here coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, a uh, 14th edition by RSC Bella. And uh, the first problem reads uh, the 2 kg block B and 15 kg cylinder A are connected to a light cord that passes through a hole in the center of the smooth table. Okay, that one reads for both questions and then. Uh, if the block is given a speed of V equal to 10 meters per second, determine the radius R of the circular path along which it travels. And then in the second one, if the block travels along a circular path of R of radius R equal to 1.5, determine the speed of the block. So in the first case, we are being asked to determine the radius. In the second case, we are being asked to determine the, uh, the speed. So let's draw the free body diagram. Okay. Um, so there we go. Um, so we have a cylinder. We have a cylinder. Let's draw it here. We have a cylinder, like so. So this is a cylinder there, like so. So this cylinder has some weight. This is the cord. So it will have some tension force there and we do have a block let's just indicate uh, just the 2d so this is the block uh, the block on the smooth table so by smooth by smooth by smooth this one here and uh, where is the other one? I saw it somewhere. Uh, but it's through a whole set of smooth table. This one, it means no friction between the block and the table. Okay. So let's say this is the center there. Let's say this is the center like so. And uh, we have this platform like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just dot it because I'll need to indicate some. Uh, so let's say this is our uh, our Z axis. Okay, this is our Z axis. There we go. Okay. So what do we have? So we are going to have, and uh, this is ARA. Let me just show the ARA. Uh, this is ARA. Um, okay, so this is our ARA. Uh, then we have the following. We're going to have the following. I just need to move this maybe a little bit down. Maybe up to somewhere there. Huh? Up to somewhere there. I think so. And then also move this just a little bit. It can move. All right, we are just going to draw it. Okay, there we go. All right. And maybe this Z, I'll write it the other side. So this is our Z. So this block is going to have the following reaction forces. Uh, so we are going to have the weight. Uh, we don't have any friction here, but we'll have the normal force. All right. Mm -hmm. What else? And then we do have the tension in this block. We do have the tension there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this one. Uh, this one is our this one is our n coordinate uh, this one is our b coordinate so this free body diagram this is our n this is our b okay so then we have this is our t this is our t tension okay so section this somewhere there can think of it section them all right um 
then this is our n this is the normal force and then this is our weight um and we are assuming this is uh, uh some constant speed right so um assume okay b is constant right should be is constant uh what else so this is just equal to mg like so t our t here is just going to be equal to our mg so this is mg i need to differentiate this this block this is block b so this is mb like so then this is w so this is wb right this is a so this is wa which is just going to be equal to mag all right so i think we've indicated quite a lot of stuff there what we need to do is to write down the equations so our wa is just equal to mag which is equal to our m is 15 by 9.81 our wb is just equal to uh, m mbg and this is just equal to 2 9.81 all right and then let's start with the summation of forces in the y summation of forces in the b in the b rather going up in our reference this is going to be equal to zero because we don't expect any movement in the b direction and therefore this is just n minus wb equal to zero and therefore our n is just going to be equal to uh, m b g which is just equal to two by 9.81 all right and then now uh, for a we are just going to say um let's assume this is our vertical axis for this one uh-huh this is our z okay so for that other one we're just going to say summation of forces in the z going up so just equal to zero again so we are not expecting any movement for this particular uh, uh this particular uh cylinder all right so this is just going to be equal to uh we have t minus w a equal to zero therefore our t is just going to be equal to m a g which is just equal to 15 by 9.81 and then applying the equations of motion for the block b we just say summation of forces along the n axis going in this direction being our reference uh, we have t uh, motion is in this direction this is our motion which is m a n okay so t is just going to be equal to m a n where our a n our centripetal acceleration is just b squared divided by rho okay and therefore our t is just going to be equal to m uh, v squared divided by rho all right so now let's go to case one we have set up the equations we have set up the equations let's use these equations now to begin to do some work okay so let's start uh, let's call this as case one and this is just equal to 13 dash 5 3 okay 13 dash 5 3 what do we have uh, 13 dash 5 3 we have the following so the equation there is 
uh, we know that our t, we calculated our t already, our t is equal to uh, 15, uh, 9.81, okay, and then we have another t there, which is equal to uh, m, okay, v squared divided by rho, right, and this is just going to be equal to 2 by 10 squared, right, divided by 2, which is just rho. Alright, so equating the 2, let's equate the 2, uh, we are going to have a 15 by 9.81 equal to 2, 10 squared divided by rho. And making rho subject of the formula, which is equal to R, this is just going to be equal to 2 by 10 squared divided by 15 by 9.81. Therefore, rho, which is equal to R, is just going to be equal to, uh, what do we get? So, 2 by 10 squared uh, divided by uh, 15 by 9.81. So, here we get a 1.36 uh, meters, right? This is in meters, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 2 by 10 squared divided by uh, 15 by 9.81, 1.36. All right, so found this. Let's work on the other one. Uh, let's work on the other one. I'll use this space. Uh, that one there like so. Okay. All right, there we go. So let's go to case two. So case two is uh, 13,354. Uh, what do we have there? All right, let's write down. What we have is um, the same equation. Uh, we have T equal to 15, uh, 981 and we do, we do have t in this case equal to uh, 2 by v squared divided by rho in our case our rho is 1.5 so if we were to equate the 2 because here they are asking us to find the velocity the speed this is just going to be equal to 2 uh, by v squared divided by 1.5 so making v squared subject to a formula, this just becomes 1.5 by 15 by 9.81 um, divided by 2. So if we are to take the square root on both sides, like so, then we find that our v will just be equal to, uh, our v is just equal to, 1.5 by 15 by 9.81 divided by 2 square root of that and we have a 10.51 meters a second all right so we found the values that will ensure that this system is in dynamic equilibrium okay we have our raw which is equal to r and this is equal to 1.36 and we have our v equal to 10.51 when the other parameters are given so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast